If I told you we were going to build a robot that climbs pyramids and shoots frisbees, you'd probably think there'd be a lot of wiring involved and maybe some programming or the use of tools like these. But if you're building a robot in the first program, it's also going to involve dancing, costumes, painting, pizza, speeches, feeding the hungry, buttons, high five lines, Legos, building bikes for toys for tots, road trips, did I mention pizza? And it will require absolutely no experience necessary on your part to join. Robotics, engineering, science, and math can sometimes be intimidating and maybe even a little bit boring. But it is our mission to show you that you are not only capable of problem solving and building robots, but you will have so much fun doing it. FIRST deems itself the hardest fun you will ever have. FIRST is a program for students ages 6 to 18. It has four different levels of varying difficulties, and it combines robots, science, and Legos together. And there's a lot of engineering and robotics challenges out there, so what makes FIRST so great? It is a stepped approach, so it doesn't matter if you join at age 6 or 16. We're going to progressively walk you through it through the season and from year to year. And I've seen kids not only gain technical knowledge, but confidence and friendship. It is a real-life engineering problem, with a budget too small, a timeline too tight, and a problem that no one else has ever solved before, not even us mentors. And we not only need a robot, but we need a budget, fundraisers, creative media, documentation, and presentations, just to name a few. So we're going to need students and mentors with a variety of skill sets. And kids get to try out different positions so they can figure out what they want to do before they have to pick a college major. Mentors are there to guide you, teach you, and work alongside with you. Many of us are scientists and engineers, so beyond just teaching you about robotics, we can tell you about our careers, our majors, and our colleges. Competitions are so much fun that people from all across the industry will come and talk to the students, which is another great networking opportunity. There are a good balance of seriousness and silliness at the events. My sisters have dubbed them Robot Raves, and journalist Amy Shearer Title has dubbed them Robot Quidditch. Another awesome aspect is their international competitions, which means the students get to meet people from all over the world and talk to them about their culture, along with robotics. We learn gracious professionalism, which means you compete like crazy, but you're kind and respectful to one another. During competitions, it's not unusual for people to go loan parts or even fix other people's robots. And during the season, we're always swapping advice. And when it's all over with, we usually release our programming and our drawings. Because it's not about building the best robot or creating a dynasty. It's about making the organization, the competition, and each other better. The best part of FIRST is the strengthening of community. FIRST is made up of over 180,000 adults who volunteer their time. And they teach students to give back to the community. Teams do a wide variety of things, including Toys for Tots, Habitat for Humanity, literacy programs, Relay for Life, talking to their government officials about education policy, or just helping other schools and organizations build their own FIRST programs. You can go to usfirst.org to learn about programs in your area. And there's usually contact information if you're interested in joining a team, mentoring, or just volunteering. If you can't donate your time, they're usually looking for sponsors or donated supplies or tooling, or sometimes just a space to work. And all the competitions are open to the public if you want to come check one out. If you have any questions about FIRST, just leave them down in the comment section below. And if you're already on a FIRST team, tell us your name, your number, and your mascot if you have one. And remember, keep exploring. For more information about the individual FIRST programs, you can click on one of these links. Or to learn how far a sheet of paper can get you, or how to electrify the floor, click on one of these.